What is up guys, it's Tom here and welcome to the Liverpool West Bromwich Albion match reaction and analysis show. Let me know what did you think of the game, what do you think about Liverpool going joint top of the Premier League with Arsenal. The Arsenal are first but only on a slightly better goal difference. So let me know what do you think about the game, what do you think about Liverpool season, can Liverpool finish in the top four? Can Liverpool maybe win the Premier League title? I don't really want to talk about that just yet. It's very early, but Liverpool made a magnificent start to the season considering what kind of really, really tough fixtures Liverpool had. We won at Arsenal, we won at Chelsea, we almost won at Tottenham, we got to draw against them, we got to draw against Man United. And we beat Leicester, the champions. If you want to see the goals and the highlights, link as always is in the video's description. Premier League highlights are copyrighted. And Liverpool started absolutely brilliantly, like you should start at home, against a team who usually parks the bus. And West Bromwich Albion defended very, very deep. So Liverpool had a lot of possession in the middle of the park. But Liverpool were also very incisive, very creative. In the end, Lalana made the starting 11, and I think he made a big difference. Vinadum could only uh, make the bench so Emre Chan started in midfield and it was the Mane Firmino Coutinho partnership which was really influential but even the wingbacks the fullbacks played like wingers today I mean there was an incident when James Milner was uh, playing almost as a striker from the left back position so the first goal came when uh, Coutinho uh, lets the ball run for, towards Chan, taking three West Brom midfielders out of the game completely. So it was a three against three defenders. And um, I think uh, it was, uh, I'm not sure, I think it was uh, Firmino who, who puts the ball over the defender to the far post and Sadio Mane side foots it into the bottom corner in the 20th minute. One near Liverpool and it was a well-deserved lead because it was all Liverpool in the first half. West Brom actually didn't have a shot uh, until like the 67th or 68th minute or something like that. And Liverpool made it 2-0 after a sliced clearance. Uh, Darren Fletcher passes it back to Foster and the pass was a, you know, it had a spin, there was a spin on the ball so Foster couldn't get a clean connection on it and the ball goes up in the air and uh, Fletcher again makes another mistake by uh, just basically not clearing the ball. The ball falls to uh, Firmino, slips in Coutinho who does a fake shot, he actually did a fake shot so well that two West Brom defenders were out of the picture. They, they expected the shot, so they slide it across and Firmino on his right foot slots it home, giving the goalkeeper the eyes into the bottom near post corner. 2-0, brilliant first half and it should have been more. Foster made incredible saves in the second half. Lovren's header, how on earth did the goalkeeper save that? Oh my goodness! It was right into the top corner and somehow Foster gets a hand to it. Incredible goalkeeping and Firmino also had the chance. Emre Can had the chance which the West Brom defense blocked heroically. So West Brom basically were defending for the majority of the game. After the 70th minute, West Brom started to create hard chances, half chances, and especially from corners, just as we expected. They were dangerous. And uh, Chadley, the ball falls to Chadley in the box, who takes a touch, and it, he was uh, wide open in the box, and he slices his finish above the bar, and he also had another chance where he shoots well over the bar, but after a free kick, Karius was again hesitant, he came for the ball, sort of, but not really, and the header at the back post hits Karius in the hand and goes out for a corner, and of course, from the corner, just like life season, from their first shot on target, West Brom score, it was Gareth McCauley, who basically, the ball bubbles in the box, it, it hits McCauley on the shoulder, and then he slots it home, basically had just the goalkeeper to beat because nobody expected the ball to fall to Macaulay and it was 2-1 and that was that set up a nervous 10 minutes but Jurgen Klopp after the West Brom goal he said to the team calm down, keep playing with the uh, bravery and uh, keep the ball and Liverpool should have and could have scored more chances uh, 
Emre Chan again had a great chance which was blocked and uh, Vinadum. if only he could have curled the ball a little bit more in the 93rd minute it just narrowly missed out on the far post but all in all a well deserved Liverpool win it was a 2-1 scoreline which I think flattered West Brom Liverpool should have scored more goals West Brom scored with their first shot and only shot on target and in the end the last 10 minutes aside Liverpool were very very dominant very confident victory and we are joint top of the league and the next seven games are always against mid-table or bottom 10 sides so if Liverpool can win maybe six or five of the next seven games we could be actually first or second going into Christmas and I really hope that Liverpool can keep this momentum going we are playing brilliant football so far very happy with how the season is going let me know are you as happy as me watching Liverpool this season let me know in the comments below I couldn't record fans on live reactions because the weather was beautiful in Hungary today so we went out to a park and we arrived quite late back so I could only watch the second half of the game but I watched the highlights of the first half and Liverpool played magnificently so let me know what did you think of the game and thanks for watching guys stay awesome see you later goodbye